very happy to uh, kick off this session on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, looking forward to getting the slides as well. Um, thank you. So, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, um, how do they contribute to the uh, successful collaboration of uh, ICT research, uh, applications in businesses for the society? Um, what does ICT mean for business? Uh, in one, one of the things that ICT uh, provides is uh, uh, efficient solutions, making the businesses more effective, more productive, uh, getting results uh, faster, and uh, automating uh, a lot of the work. Now, machine learning and AI are fields that particularly also concentrate on the automation side and not only automating the information flow uh, but also the thinking process of uh, humans, at least hopefully. Uh, I'll start off with a bit of news. So this is from the New York Times and uh, it's about the first electronic device to think as the human brain. At least that's how the piece of news states. Uh, not only that, the authors hesitated to call it a machine uh, because uh, it is so much like a human being without life. Uh, and furthermore, it actually is about to be completed in about a year. And only for a ridiculously small cost of $100,000. So where is the catch? Well, the catch is that this piece of news is from 1958. And um, this is something uh, that was basically the very beginning of the neural networks, uh, deep learning, uh, as well as AI, we could say. And uh, the Persetron algorithm basically was born with a lot of hype and overpromise, as you can see already, uh, right from the start. Uh, however, this, um, well, due to this overpromise uh, that often come, has come with machine learning and AI, there have been ups and downs in this field. Um, uh, but now, really, since the last 10 years, particularly the last five years, what we have seen is that uh, this field of machine learning and artificial intelligence has really become very important for business, very important for the society, delivering good results. Um, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So what do the terms mean? What ways are they different? So artificial intelligence is the algorithms of intelligent machines. Um, that's, that's how I've defined it here. And machine learning algorithms that learn from data. And these, um, I, I see them as quite precise definitions. And the only reason that they may, may sound not exactly precise uh, is, is that they include these words of intelligence and, and machine, uh, sorry, learn. And intelligence and learning are, are something that are indeed hard to define. Uh, but these, these are really kind of the common everyday life terms. Uh, so. Because of that, every one of us has our own definition of uh, what artificial intelligence and machine learning mean. Uh, very commonly, mach machine learning is viewed as, as a subfield of artificial intelligence because many people think of leave, uh, learning as, as a part of intelligence. So, uh, regarding, um, regarding the AI and the machine learning field, because it's uh, so beneficial these days for, for the business and society. Uh, w the results are needed so urgently that at also the industry has started to uh, kind of benefit the research side. So not only are the academic researchers doing research in this field, but also there are in people in industry doing actual research in this. And so the, this is the list of uh, um, 
top 10 organizations uh, from where the authors of research publications have come for the, one of the top uh, machine learning conferences, NeurIPS. So you can see that the big corporations are doing actual research. And it's not only applied research, it's also quite fundamental research sometimes. And it's, it's not a fight here between the academy and the industry. It's, it's a friendly collaboration that is going on between uh, the two sides. Um, there are things that uh, academic researchers are better at. There are things where industrial researchers are better at. And one field where industry really has been uh, important is, is really big uh, language models. So OpenAI, uh, GPT-3 model. Uh, the cost was 10 million euros. And I'm, we're not talking about the cost of, of the peop uh, people spending their time and brain effort coming up with this. It is once the algorithm was ready, the training of that, well, the learning phase, this machine learning part, this took so much electric energy that it was costing 10 million euros just to train that. Um, so it's, it's clear that it's quite hard for the academic researchers to, to do anything like that. But there are other fields where, where academic research really uh, is, is uh, stronger. Um, what is this kind of a model doing? Just briefly, um, it is predicting, as many of the machine learning models do. So you give some kind of text, and it is just starting to predict what is the next symbol, next word, next sentence in that text, what, if, if you would continue that. So what I've asked to do this algorithm is to basically say, um, I've given the title of this, our conference here, and, and saying, here are the titles of presentations of the AI and ML session. Now, it's up to this machine learning algorithm to decide what comes next. Um, and this is what it starts to come up, symbol by symbol, writing down what is coming up. So we have AI-based smart cities, IoT and AI, and narrow AI and IoT, so different dreamed up uh, names of talks. Um, and then at the end, it also suggests we should maybe have a panel. Um, interesting. Uh, what is nice, you can rerun this algorithm again, and it gives you new results. So what is at the next attempt? What is it suggesting? So here is a list of four talks that now comes with pe people's names um, and, and names of the talks. A lot of business and deep learning. Uh, now. Actually, our session is going to be much broader uh, than um, kind of covering how, how uh, uh, a set of uh, young researchers early in their careers in our institute, uh, what they are studying. Uh, before giving to them, I'll also would like to mention a, way, uh, a new way of collaborations between the academic academy and the industry. So, uh, Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Estonia Center, which uh, aims to offer services uh, to small and medium enterprises. Uh, um, it's currently in the piloting phase, but uh, possibly, hopefully, creating a center for, for seven years to come. Uh, with um, uh, Taltec as the leading uh, partner, Tartu, and, and uh, several other partners there, different services offered. Um, so now, I think it's a good time to, to move on to the presentations from these um, um, young researchers that are going to cover some of the research that is done, by far not everything that is going on in the Institute. Um, but that's it for me. Thank you.